Did you know that up to 95% of our decisions, emotions, and actions stem from the mysterious realm of our unconscious mind? That's right. This unseen yet powerful aspect of our psyche is constantly at work, guiding our behaviors, shaping our desires, and influencing our choices. It's like an invisible puppeteer, pulling the strings behind the scenes of our daily lives. While we might like to believe that we are in full control of our wants and needs, the surprising truth is that our unconscious mind holds the reins, often leading us in directions we hadn't consciously planned. It's a compelling force, operating beneath the surface of our awareness, silently driving the majority of our actions and reactions. It's humbling, isn't it? To think that our conscious mind, with all its logic and reasoning, is not always the one in command. Indeed, the unconscious mind holds more sway over our desires than we may think. Consider this. Have you ever wanted something, got it, and then wondered why you wanted it in the first place? This conundrum, my friends, is not as uncommon as you might think. It's the product of an intriguing disconnect between our conscious and unconscious minds, a gap that often leaves us baffled by our own desires. Let's dive a little deeper. Our conscious mind, the part of the iceberg that's visible above the water, is responsible for our logical thinking, decision-making, and awareness. It's the CEO of the brain, calling the shots, and making the tough decisions, or so we like to think. Now let's go beneath the surface to the much larger and often overlooked part of the iceberg, our unconscious mind. It's a mysterious, powerful force influencing our thoughts, feelings, and actions without us even realizing it. It's like a puppeteer, subtly pulling the strings, guiding our desires and decisions from the shadows. Here's where the disconnect comes in. We believe we're in control, making rational choices based on conscious thought. But more often than not, it's our unconscious mind that's doing the heavy lifting, making decisions based on deep-seated desires and experiences. Our conscious mind then steps in, rationalizing these decisions after the fact, trying to make sense of actions initiated by the unconscious. Imagine wanting a flashy new sports car. Consciously, you might justify it as a reward for your hard work. Or maybe it's just a love for speed and sleek design. But unconsciously, could it be a desire for status, recognition, or even an attempt to reclaim your youth? This is the conscious-unconscious disconnect, a fascinating dance between what we think we want and what we truly desire, deep down in the uncharted depths of our unconscious mind. It's a delicate balance, a tug of war between the seen and unseen parts of our psyche, our conscious mind, it seems, is not always in sync with our unconscious desires. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, had interesting insights into this phenomenon. Freud, a name synonymous with the mysterious depths of the human psyche, delved deep into the realm of the unconscious mind and its influence on our desires. In the labyrinth of our minds, Freud believed, lies a hidden layer, the unconscious. This is not just a storehouse of forgotten memories, but a dynamic entity that influences our decisions, actions, and of course, desires. According to Freud, this unconscious mind is brimming with repressed experiences and primitive instincts that we are not aware of on a conscious level. Now you might wonder, how do these unconscious elements shape our desires? Well, Freud suggested that these repressed experiences and instincts are like pressure cookers constantly seeking an outlet. They attempt to surface in various forms such as dreams, slips of the tongue, and most importantly, our desires. Imagine a scenario where you've always been drawn to the thrill of dangerous sports. You might think it's because you love the adrenaline rush. But Freud might argue that this is an unconscious desire stemming from a repressed childhood experience or a primitive instinct for danger and survival. Freud also introduced the concept of wish fulfillment. This is the idea that our unconscious desires manifest themselves in our dreams as fulfilled wishes. So that dream where you're soaring through the sky, it might just be your unconscious desire for freedom or escape coming to the fore. However, Freud's theory has its critics. Some say the unconscious mind is not as influential as Freud made it out to be. Others argue that it's nearly impossible to prove or disprove the existence of these unconscious desires, making Freud's theory more of a philosophy than a scientific fact. Freud's theory, controversial as it may be, offers a fascinating perspective on the power of the unconscious mind. It prompts us to question the origins of our desires and to consider the possibility that they might be driven by forces beyond our conscious awareness. It's not just theory, though. Let's look at a real-world example. Picture this. A group of researchers conducted an intriguing experiment. They wanted to see how the unconscious mind could sway our preferences. So, they devised a taste test. Participants were given two types of tea to try, one labeled A and the other B. 
What they didn't know was that both teas were absolutely identical. Now here's the twist. Before the taste test, participants were subtly exposed to positive words associated with A and negative words tied to B. They had no conscious awareness of this exposure. It was all processed at the unconscious level. When it came time to choose their preferred tea, a staggering majority favored A. Remember, the teas were identical. The only difference was the unconscious association they had with the labels. This study is an eye-opening demonstration of the profound influence of our unconscious desires. The participants were not aware of their unconscious bias towards A, yet it significantly guided their decision. Consider for a moment, how often might this be happening in your own life? How many of your choices are influenced by unconscious factors, unbeknownst to you? It's a thought-provoking question, isn't it? Now let's think about another example. You've probably heard of the mere exposure effect. It's a psychological phenomenon where people tend to develop a preference for things merely because they are familiar with them. The fascinating part is that this familiarity can be created unconsciously without our active awareness. We gravitate towards the known, the comfortable, often without realizing why. These instances underline the powerful role our unconscious desires play in shaping our decisions and preferences. It's a hidden force, steering our choices subtly, persistently, and often irresistibly. As this case shows, our unconscious desires can guide us in ways we might not consciously recognize. So, what have we learned about the unconscious mind and our desires? We've discovered that our desires are not solely dictated by our conscious thoughts and decisions. They are, in fact, deeply influenced by the unconscious mind, a part of us that operates beneath the surface of our awareness. This unconscious realm, according to Freud's theory, is a powerhouse of latent desires and impulses that subtly shape our decisions and actions. We've also highlighted the potential disconnect between what we consciously think we want and what our unconscious mind craves. This disconnect can lead to internal conflicts and unfulfilled desires. Therefore, it's important to be aware of this and strive for a better understanding of our unconscious desires. Ultimately, our unconscious mind is a powerful force that plays a pivotal role in our lives often in ways we might not even realize. The journey into our unconscious desires is a deeply personal and enlightening one. Thank you for joining us on this exploration, and remember, the mind, especially the unconscious, is a fascinating place to visit.